Hello everyone, it's Miriam and welcome back to my channel for our third installment of Inktober Drawings. These are days 9 to... nope, they're not, I keep saying that, I don't know why. 8 to 10, not 9 to 11. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, the last three days have been a little bit rough and these drawings probably reflect that. At least the first two, um, I struggled a little bit on them and I found it... I was just generally a bit unhappy with what I was creating. I love the concepts but I'm still struggling with brush pens and I just didn't feel like I was creating exactly what I had in mind, which it's, it's, a, it's a common artist problem I think. And so I was kind of tired and stressed and a little bit sad and kind of generally coping pretty badly. <laughs> So um, uh, the, these drawings probably will show a little bit of that discomfort I was feeling. The last one in the video is actually my favourite of the bunch because I was starting to feel a little bit better. The day I created it I actually took the day a little bit easier than I normally would and I took the time to kind of read in the morning and, and just started work a little bit later and just took in the sun a little bit and just just allowed myself to breathe a bit and I think it really showed and the concept I came up with was a little bit more um, along those lines even though it is quite a tragic concept anyway but that, I suppose that's what I create anyway <laughs> I can't really step away from that too much because that's just what I love doing but there, it, the last concept is a bit more flowy I think and um, and I'm quite happy with it not that I'm unhappy with the first two concepts you'll see in this video, but they were made in a slightly more uncomfortable place, so they reflect that a bit more. But um, actually, the concept that you see me doing right now, the figures in the conkers, I changed a few things off camera once I was done because I was tearing at it and I wasn't completely happy, and so I I took the eye out, um, I actually painted it black afterwards, and it's not because I don't like the idea of an eye in a conker shell, I do actually want to paint that concept, I'd quite like to paint the three of them, so I'd quite like to paint the body, the head and the eye in the conker shells and then make a small sticker set out of those. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, I'd love to know if you'd be interested in having a weird body parts in conker shells <laughs> sticker set. And then the piece that you see me draw right now was day nine and I was really tired for that day and I'm sorry if this video kind of sounds like I'm a bit down and not very well. I'm a lot better now um, but uh, those first couple of days of the week were really tiring for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why I was so stressed and tired but um, I mean it happens. It's just I just have a lot on I think and I'm not allowing myself the breaks I should really take which um, is a recurring problem in me. <laughs> so I just need to learn. I need to learn to create the right habits in my days but I love how this piece reflects exactly how I felt that day and I'm, I'm realizing that while I'm talking to you I didn't actually see that until I watched this footage <laughs> It's it's pretty much spot on how I felt that day. I think I was slightly falling ill, so I had I had a headache and I was just kind of a bit fed up and nothing worked. And you know when you just stop being able to focus on anything, I think that was at that point in the day with that piece. It was quite late in the evening and I was just I just kind of just wanted to relax a little bit and read and watch a TV show on the sofa with my boyfriend. And so I kind of I suppose part of me gave up a little bit on that drawing and I posted it to. Uh, I wasn't very happy with it. I felt like the ribbons looked too much like blood and not enough like ribbons But I was so tired that I couldn't see clearly and I couldn't analyze exactly what was wrong and I couldn't analyze exactly how I could make it better so So I just stepped away posted it and slept on it. I didn't actually have the intention of actually coming back to it the next morning because because I was so tired I couldn't actually see how I could make any make it any better so I just went to bed a little bit frustrated about the result and then I woke up the next morning and instead of going straight into my next concept I decided to look at it again and and work on it a bit more and I actually like it a lot more now that I've actually taken the time to work on it a bit more I um I just went in and added a few things and just painted some more shadows and highlights and just made it look a little bit more like fabric. Not that I have anything against it looking like blood, it's, it is red and I suppose there is probably some kind of symbolism of blood in there that's not conscious from me. but. I didn't. I just wanted it to look more like ribbons. I didn't want the piece to look gory. 
it's just not the kind of thing I do, I don't think. Um, I know my work is dark, but I wouldn't de describe my work as gory. Um, would you? I mean, let me know in the comments if that's something that you would use to describe my work. But I, um, I just so this the footage that you're seeing right now is me the next day so in the morning, just seeing it again and deciding that I needed some extra pizzazz to make it look like ribbons instead of like the person had just cut all its limbs off. <laughs> And so I, I was really happy with that edit. I, w I felt a lot better about the piece. And the fact that I was able to go back in and allow myself to be guilt-free about working on it again just set me up quite well for the rest of the day. And I took the day a little bit more easily. I didn't push myself as much as I would normally would. I just decided to breathe, cook myself some nice food, took some sun in, just read a bit of my book. And I... I just felt a little bit more successful that day. I felt it in a better place and happier and more relaxed. And I think I really needed a day like that. And I think I'm going to try and force myself to take some breaks out of that every so often because it's so easy to just feel guilty about not doing enough all the time. And to be honest, it's it's the good, it's the old conundrum, isn't it? If you keep pushing yourself at some point, you'll break completely and won't be able to keep working at all. So you might as well go and regularly take care of yourself in order to not completely incapacitate yourself in the future but i'm learning i'm i'm learning the theory of it i i know i know i know the concept i'm aware of of it but being able to emotionally adjust it to yourself and to realize that it does apply to you is is something that you need to live through i think for any concept it's very easy to just know the words but not apply it to yourself consciously or unconsciously and so I need to realize that I need to take better care of my physical and mental health when it comes to work because it's so easy for me to just get lost in working 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 because I desperately want to be able to make a, a comfortable living hopefully out of this job but I also need to not drive myself into the ground which I am quite good at doing <laughs> Which I, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I hear a lot of artists do the same. I think it was Happy the Artist I watched a video of which she was talking about how she kind of drove herself into the ground um, and had to to take force herself to take a breather. As I hear a lot of artists do that and I suppose a lot of self-employed people do that because it's so difficult to know if you're doing enough when you work for yourself. You don't really have any compass or any reference to look at and go, oh, that person has gone home now. I can probably go home too. Um, usually you're already home and uh, <laughs> and you just have any time during the day is a good time to work in your mind so I'm definitely learning um, that that's not true and that I need to breathe every so often <laughs> but anyway this is the last concept of the last three days and I think it's my favorite one and a lot of people including my boyfriend I think was the first one to mention it when he saw this concept he said it looked a lot like a Ghibli movie concept like something out of Mononoke and yeah absolutely I can totally see that I was not conscious but a lot of the time my inspirations are not conscious um, and I can definitely definitely see it now and I'm sure it had some part of inspiration in this concept I, um, I, I, I think I remember watching Princess Mononoke for the first time years and years and years ago and being utterly repulsed at the the ball at the beginning of the film if you haven't seen it please watch it those films are amazing but there's a ball at the fair at the beginning it's the spirit and it's corrupted and it's got all these kind of dark wormy like parasites on him and they've overtaken its body and all you can see are its eyes and i remember being not physically repulsed by the concept of it, by by there was something so visceral about this corruption. To me, especially when I was younger, it just looked like the perfect representation of spiritual corruption. And it really stuck with me now. And I'm sure it has inspired this piece, not consciously, because I rarely know consciously what inspired something, but I'm sure it kind of was there because it made such a strong impression with, on me when I first watched the film that I'm sure it has it had a part in me creating this drawing and the other part was that I just really wanted to draw animals <laughs> brush pens are so incredibly cool to draw animals I think it's kind of the organic texture of the lines and the fact that you can create all these kind of slight 
bony elements to the outlines and and fur works really well with brush pens and there's just something so organic about brush pens that I adore drawing animals with them and so you'll probably see a bunch more animals in my future pieces. I don't draw, draw them as much as I draw humans but because I don't find them I think as difficult and so I, I I'm not focused on learning them quite as much as I am learning humans plus my work focuses on a lot of the mental aspect of humanity and our, our mental state and mental health and mental illness and just generally kind of the the subconscious and psychological and spiritual aspect of humans so obviously I'm I focus on the human form because that's my my favorite topic but animals are just amazing too uh, in matters of symbolism so there's a reason so many people draw them there's just something so so inspiring about the animal form that I suspect I'll be drawing more and more of them I know that my next big painting actually and my patrons will know that is um gonna have a lot of animals in it so I'm looking forward to creating a few more of those and I, I am struggling with those brush pens but I'm really enjoying working with them so far even though it's incredibly tough. But I've ordered a few red fine liners because I am getting a bit frustrated <laughs> not being able to use uh, tiny tiny hatchings or details like I did last year so you can see here and while I'm waiting for my fine liners I used a ballpoint pen just to add a little bit of texture because I just really wanted those tiny details. I um, can't use fine liners too much because I injured myself last year with Inktober. I injured my wrist and I still haven't really quite recovered from that. But um, I I'm, I'm looking forward to them arriving so I can add a tiny bit more spice to some of my drawings. But anyway, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which concept was your favourite one. Let me know how you are doing, whether you are doing Inktober or not. And thank you again for being here with me and being so lovely. Take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you in a few days. Bye everyone.